Hey, hey, Gemini. So it's me, Tessra from Tessra's Tarot, your favorite tarot reader. Coming to give you some energy for today or tonight. So you know what to do. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. Personal readings are available now until Sunday. You have to be booked by Sunday in order to receive a personal reading. The information is in the description box. Please follow the directions. And let's get into this. So, I was doing some personals and I said, you know what? Let's do an almost personal. So, the overall energy is hope. So, I feel like somebody here is hoping, has some hope about this situation. Mm -hmm. We have some hope that you guys can come back together. Okay, with this bottom of the deck being two of cups. So what happened in the past? Knight of Wands, current energy, Ace of Swords. What they think about you. Seven of Wands. How they feel about you. Three of Wands. What is the issue? Page of Wands. How do they feel? about moving forward or about reconciliation for cups what are they hiding empress hmm. what is the advice from tarot nine of swords hmm. and possible outcome two of swords but i'm gonna deck two of cups so somebody here is holding out hope because they feel like this is a soulmate soulmate connection could be dealing with a cancer okay somebody here is holding out hope because they feel like this is a soulmate connection here we go swear to God, as soon as i start Hopefully you guys can see that. <clears throat> well, you know what? Hold on a second. Let's start off. I want to make sure I start off with all uprights. So that if. So how y'all day been going? Mine has been thoroughly full. Y'all not playing about these personals. <laughs> I tell you that. I want to say that we're in a retrograde too. Um, if we're not in a retro, well, tonight's a full moon for one, so great night for releasing. I've told y'all how to release um, simple releases, but I also use full moons to manifest. So you know you'll you'll find mostly, um, especially if you're on TikTok, you know they are vehemently against manifesting on the full moon. But I will say that's more of a Wiccan thing. Um, if you're African American, we definitely manifest on a full moon. So that don't apply to us. Um, because that's not a rule in hoodoo. Okay, so. We got them all upright. A couple more shuffles. But I'm gonna deck ten of wands. So somebody's holding out hope that this can be that this can come back together. Okay. But I feel like the other person feels like this is a burden and they're ready to walk away from it. Ten of wands could be dealing with Sagittarius, two of cups, cancer energy. Give me a second, y'all. Let me put this on Do Not Disturb. Clarify. So in the past, Knight of Wands. So I feel like somebody was <laughs> somebody was being very Knight of Wandish. Could be dealing with an Aries here. But I'm going to deck Fool card. Could be dealing with an Aries. Knight of Wands is Sagittarius Scorpio energy. So I feel like somebody was probably being 
very foolish with your heart, foolish with your emotions, foolish about the relationship. I feel like this person probably was playing the field, okay? And that's me saying it nicely. Tower. So this caused the ending, okay? This behavior is what caused the ending. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, okay? I feel like this person was very immature when it came to a relationship. The, in the center of the the center of the reading is the page of wands. This is what the issue was. Bottom of the deck, page of cups, page of wands. I feel like this was very, 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 very immature. Somebody here was very immature, okay? Very immature in love, very immature in their actions, very immature in their communication, okay? This person is showing up as a page, okay? The current energy is the Ace of Wands. I mean, Ace of Swords. Clarify the Ace of Swords. So I feel like even though somebody here is, um, so I feel like you both maybe feel like you're tied to this situation with this Ace of, with this Eight of Swords here. It could be dealing with a Gemini, a fellow Gemini. Two of Wands could be dealing with an Aries. Okay, so I feel like both of you probably kind of know that you need to go in a different direction or that you should be going in a different direction but you still both feel very tied to this like you know what you should be doing you know that that two of swords is what should be happening but i feel like both of you guys still still feel very tied to this because this is the mutual energy what they think about you seven of wands could be dealing with a leo they either think you're very defensive like they feel like you're defensive or they think you're very defensive yeah they feel like you're very defensive again against them and that you would like to miss an opportunity with them okay with this four of cups so they may feel like so they may want to reach out to you and communicate but they feel like you'd reject them or that you're very defensive towards them they may even feel like you've blocked them with that seven of wands there four of cups is cancer energy what else yeah i feel like they <laughs> wow they think you're seeing others i'm just gonna say that that queen of wands is somebody who is very alluring very sexual so they think you're very good looking and they probably feel like or they think that you're out there yeah three, yeah three of swords so they think you have others okay uh libra energy Yep, they think you have others. I feel like they also think that you're already in something committed. Or that you're in a committed relationship. So you could be just not talking to their ass and they just feel like you're in something. But that's what they think. Four of Wands is Aries energy. So how they feel is the Three of Wands. So they feel like you've turned your back on this. Clarify Three of Wands. Mm-hmm. Two of Cups. Yep. So they feel like you start you started over and turned your back on this situation. Six of Swords could be dealing with an Aquarius, Aquarius, Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Two of Cups, Cancer Energy. So back up here, they're the ones that is holding out hope because they feel like this is a soulmate connection. You feel like it's a burden. They feel like you've turned your back on them and, and, and on this relationship to be in another relationship with somebody else. So that's what they think and feel. OK. The issue was that they were very immature. Somebody here was very immature. A lot of immaturity, which caused you to move forward, okay? Or move away from this situation. Six of Swords. So, how they feel about moving on or about reconciliation? Four of Cups. Clarify this Four of Cups. <clears throat> Again, with the Seven of Wands, they feel like you would be very, that you wouldn't be They feel like you moved on. Five of Swords. Eight of Wands. They feel like you've moved on. They feel like you moved on too quick. Could be dealing with the Aries. I feel like they <laughs> they feel like you already had somebody waiting in the wings, to be honest with you. Five of Swords. Could be Aquarius energy. Eight of Wands. Um, Sagittarius energy. The Empress. And then the Seven of Wands. So they feel like you will reject any advances about reconciliation. 
and I feel like they feel you were rejected because you've moved on with someone else. Again, with this Empress energy. You guys are definitely a pair, though. Emperor at the bottom of the deck, Empress out here twice. So what they're hiding is an Empress. They're in a relationship. They're in a relationship acting single. Okay, Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Emperor and the Empress here. Sun card could be dealing with a Leo. There may be children involved in this situation. This person is already in something, but he acting single. But they, but this energy is acting single. That's what they're hiding. They're hiding the fact that <laughs> one or two things. They're hiding the fact that they're already in something, and they're acting single, or they're hiding the fact that they think that you were that you are the Empress to their Emperor. And that they want this this happily there ever after with you, okay? And that you want to be single, okay? So that's one or two things there. They may be, okay, they may be hiding that they feel left out in the cold by you. Five of Pentacles could be dealing with a Taurus. So they may feel this way and they're just not letting you know. They're, they're just not saying anything. Advice from Tarot's Nine of Swords. Clarify nine of swords. I feel like this is saying if you go back to this, it's just going to lead to more disappointment and depression. Five of cups. Scorpio energy. Nine of swords. Gemini energy. Six of cups. Scorpio energy. So I feel like this is saying if you return back to this or if you let this person come back, it's just going to be more... Heartache, pain, depression, disappointment. Possible outcome. Page of Wands. I feel like you'll I feel like you'll get communication from this person, but it won't be the kind that you want. It won't I I feel like it won't go past a certain point because this person still has not made any kind of decisions. Okay, I feel like they may ghost you. Again, if they ghosted you before, I feel like they may ghost you again in this situation. The Hermit card could be dealing with a Virgo. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. More immaturity. I feel like three of, three of Cups, three of, three of Cups, three of Pentacles. This person is still dealing with others. This person is still dealing with others. More immaturity here. Page of one, Page of swords i feel like page of wands page of swords this person is still very immature so this person may so what they're hiding is they may be acting like they're emperor but they're really not too because they've shown up as an emperor over here but they've showed up showed up as a page all through here mm -mm. so what they're hiding is they're acting like they're emperor to your empress but they're really not <laughs> they're acting like they're an emperor but they're really not don't be fooled because they showing up as a page all through here. So Gemini, I hope this reading was helpful for you. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, the information is in the description box. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.